Hi guys, we're back. Before we were rudely interrupted by commercials. <laughs> <laughs> now wait a minute, we love those commercials. That's what helps us. Uh, right, you talk about tool to the trade, and I've thought about some of the things that are a good. I just not a good inspector. What are normal things for tool of the trade for inspector? Yeah, I'd say some of the more common ones. Um, uh, you got to be able to get behind electrical panels, so you know, screwdriver, whether it be hand op or powered, um, to get pat, you know, different bits. Um, uh, some type of an awl to, or a, a, either a pocket knife or an awl or some kind of a pick so that you can test wood to see if it's uh, rotten or not. Wow. Tape measure, good power flashlights, um, probably multiple types of flashlights, um, knee pads, uh, headgear if you're going to go into a crawl space, a crawl suit, um, knee pads, arm pads, whatever, uh, mask, um, shoe covers. Okay, you got to respect people's carpets and in the interior. Mm hmm. Um, polarity tester, maybe a multimeter. Um, uh, check uh, 240 volt outlets. We co of course, it goes beyond the standards. Don't have to check 240 volt outlets, but there's no reason not to. Uh, maybe a volt sniffer, or so, sometimes called a widow maker, to set to see if a, a, an outlet uh, or a, like a two prong outlet or mm -hmm. an old uh, like a missing light bulb does it have power? Okay. So some inspectors, if there's a, a light bulb that's out, they just note that the light bulb's out. Hey, replace the bulb. Sometimes they don't even say that. Sometimes they will actually remove the bulb. Test the socket, see if there's power, and then put it back. So that's a very high customer service inspector who's going to do that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so those are some, uh, you know, of course, some of the some of the bonuses would be uh, radon testing equipment, mold mm -hmm. testing equipment, infrared cameras, uh, aerial drone. Those are some of the more exotic tools that someone may optionally choose to. Deploy. You know what I didn't hear you say, and the thing that you always talk about is a camera. Wow. Dang, <laughs> like Captain Obvious strikes again. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. <laughs> I can't, yeah, you need to wear a cape next time. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, a digital camera. Uh, yeah, that, that's super obvious. But, uh, but the reason uh, why I say know. that, because you always say that to the, to the, um, to the clients, hey, when you see me, take, I take a lot of pictures because yes. I can remember things. Yes, I say this as a way of uh, setting expectations. Yeah. Um, uh, as I tell people, most home, when I was a realtor, this is typically how I say it. When I was a real estate agent, people only took pictures of defects. All my inspectors only took pictures of defects. And that is not how I roll. I take pictures of everything, good, bad, and indifferent. Mm -hmm. So on a typical home inspection, I may take two to 300 photos. Right. Um, that's way more than, like, even some of the best, most famous in, in, internachi inspectors or teaching classes, they take 80 to 100 photos. Um, that's what they are aiming for in the report. I have I can't remember the last time I had less than 100 photos in the report. <laughs> I, just, I don't I don't remember who was president then. It was a while. <laughs> um, so and yeah. and can you speak to the reason that you're taking the photos if there's nothing wrong? Yeah, it's it's basically my way of taking notes. I'll use hand signals to talk to myself. Why am I taking the picture? Where am I? So I can remember very specifically in a granular detail where was I when I saw a particular defect. So if I take a picture of my outlet tester and it's got it shows reverse polarity or open neutral or something really serious. Like, where is this? Like, what room am I in? What, what specific outlet am I looking at? They all look the same right. with a close-up photo. Mm -hmm. So, I'll take a picture of the of the reading. I'll take a wider shot. Which room am I in? So, I may take extra photos just for context, so that as I'm writing the report, I can write it in a way that's very detailed, and that way my uh, electrician who might be coming after me knows exactly where to go. Another thing you talked about in one of your tools was infrared, infrared. Yeah. And so one of the things you talked about is the benefits and the limitation of infrared inspections. Well, the benefits are you can see things that, that are not available to the naked eye without causing any damage or harm to the property. Okay. So all home inspectors are typically, have, we're, some of our sidebar speeches before we start are going to be, what we're going to be doing is non-invasive, non-destructive, a, a visual only inspection of the property. So we're not allowed to move furniture. We can't take that big old gun safe and shove it to the side and see what's going on behind it. Mm -hmm. um, if something's sealed off or locked, we have to kind of respect that and maybe ask for access. Um, and so an infrared camera allows you to scan a large surface area in a mm -hmm. room very quickly and potentially see things that might escape the naked eye. Um, I've seen a GFI in a kitchen that was overheating, which you know, I had permission to open it up. Right. And I found that it was leading to an electrical fire. Okay. Very, very hot connection. Melting, charring wire. Uh, I've seen roof leaks. I've seen plumbing leaks inside walls. I've seen missing insulation. So there's, there's certain things that you can use with an infrared camera. Uh, I think I'm probably one of a minority. I'm not the only company that, that, that uses it routinely, but I'm, I'm one of probably the minority that does. 
So, um, yeah, it's, That's a, it's true a powerful in the, tool. in the electric panel as well. Oh, yeah. It's like overheated connections. Uh, you can see, like, you know, oh, you know, really hot neutrals. You can see where they're melting and charred. Yeah. Super helpful. What about um, when you're looking at the the air conditioner or the heater? All right, what are yeah, it can hel- it can help with looking at like measuring temperature deltas, mm-hmm. uh, which is not required, but it's helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what a home inspector can do versus what a HVAC contractor can do. What an HVAC contractor is typically going to do is going to be more precise. They're going to use tools that what you call a wet bulb dry bulb method where they have sensors that are inside the airflow itself, the air stream, mm-hmm. that's taking a direct me- me- uh, measure of the air. A typical infrared laser thermometer, that, like, like at the gun style that you point at something, that's going to take a surface temperature in a fairly broad area. It's about a foot wide. And it's going to get the metal, the filter, you're going to get the readings of the stuff around it, not necessarily the air itself. Um, so a, 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 an infrared laser style thermometer is helpful. An infrared camera is a little more helpful. You can take a uh, use a crosshairs and get a precise reading of a specific spot. But uh, man, an HVAC technician's measurement is just going to be way better. Mm. Just way better. I, I I constantly am saying that I learned something on every show. So I that is new for me that you're um, able to have that crosshair. Yep. Not precise. all cameras can do it. Um, a good quality professional infrared camera will be able to have a spot reading. That's great. Yeah. Um, we, we're, we're actually about to close this last um, segment. Do you want to let people know how they can reach you? Sure, sure. Um, just think really hard. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, He'll be there. He'll show up. Uh, so uh, you, I could be texted uh, directly at my cell phone, area code 520-330-9703. You can call me. You can text me. Uh, you can email me at michael at horizoninspectionsllc.com um, or you could uh, yeah, send me a carrier pigeon with a note tied to its leg, um, smoke signals, as long as we got clear skies. Okay, that may be going <laughs> to the extremes Sorry. here. You do both. Um, is that sarcasm? <laughs> or is that, is that burnt popcorn? I'm not quite sure. It's a <laughs> so you'll do a pre-listing inspection or you yeah. work on behalf of the buyer's um, it, it's okay for buyers yeah. to reach out to you directly. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, or you could just call Ray and Sandra, have them write the offer, and then they'll send them to me. So. We will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've been using <laughs> Michael for um, for uh, years now, yeah. and we absolutely appreciate the quality of your inspections and the way that you work with our clients. So we thank you for that. Yeah. And Ray tolerates my humor. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Mike. Thanks. <laughs> thank, thank you for being on the show. This is Michael Oakland up. Horizon Inspection, one of the best inspectors in the city. 